Time for another game review. This time I'm going to be looking at Bomb Fusion. So, as usual, we'll load it up and we'll take a look at the packaging while the game is loading. Okay, here's the packaging then of Bomb Fusion. Different style packaging to anything that I've looked at so far. It's a black sort of design. Uh, this is from 1989, so obviously uh, another design change occurred around that time. Got the Mastertronic logo down the left hand side and a picture on the cover which is frankly awful this guy does not look well although he does seem to be in a radiation area so perhaps that's un unsurprising uh, on the spine uh, colourful again um, got the name of the machine and what have you but a nice green sort of background to the with the name on and on the back cover we've got screenshots which it says are from the Spectrum version and a description of the game usual sort of stuff inside the inlay we've got description of the game again and some hints particularly like the uh, instructions of how to play controls use the joystick very specific there <laughs> and uh, aside from that there's uh, some foreign language instructions as well and that's about it so here's Bomb Fusion nice uh, SID tune again on the uh, opening title screen written by Al Dukes so let's get the game started well there's the music before we get the game started music by Jackmaster whoever that is so uh, let's get the game started. I must admit, before I start the game, I've had a few games of it, and I, to start with, I've got no idea what I was supposed to be doing. The instructions in that respect are useless. But uh, I've worked it out now, so we'll start a game, and you'll see what we have to do. Okay, so the game starts with the guy in his little uh, buggy going into a room. Now, before I start playing, just point out a few things because there's a lot of stuff going up on on the screen uh, this is the radioactivity bar when you uh, when this reaches the top which happens in a number of ways then you lose a life there's the number of lives uh, bonus score this number 10 re relates to the number of things you've got to collect on a level I'll point out what the things are in a moment and this is the countdown now these bombs the green things Every so often one of those will start to flash and the countdown will start. If that reaches zero and the bomb blows up, then your radioactivity level goes up. So I'll start the, the game moving now and you'll see what else is going on on the screen. Now the idea is to collect these little brown things that are moving around and take them into this crate. And when you've collected ten of them on this level, bomb went off there because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, when you've collected ten of them on this level, uh, then you will move on to the next level so I'll try doing some of that the big ball by the way also uh, increases your radioactivity level so that should be avoided you can drop off the bottom of the screen so every so often when the bombs are going off you've got to try and uh, defuse them before they blow so you have to run around and do that uh, the, the purple pads do give you an extra speed bounce as well so I need one more of these little uh, pods on this level now so I'll take that over there oh lost a life whoops let's try that again okay so at the end of the level you go through the door and he moves on to the next one I'll try and do it a bit better on this level now given a bit of a demonstration
Okay, so that was a bit better demonstration of how to do a level. So, graphics wise, um, it's not bad. They're a bit spectrum like in their uh, design and colour, but they're, they're functional for the game. It's not really about the graphics on this one, I don't think, to be honest. Sounds good, nice little uh, background tune and lots of uh, little appropriate noises for jumping and so on. Again, functional for the most part, but uh, does the job. My main comment about the game, to be honest, is it's probably a little bit easy, certainly in the earlier levels, despite me losing one on the first level. As the levels progress, you have to collect more of the little brown things, whatever they're supposed to be. I've now lost count to which level I'm on, but I'm going to tell you this is going to be one of the easiest levels I've played so far. Because the thing that all the little brown things to collect that comes out of is there, and the place you've got to drop them into is there. So literally all I need to do is stand here a bit, and then drop a few in there. Obviously I've got to, still got to defuse the bombs now and then, but... It's uh, going to be pretty straightforward this one. There you go, although I did nearly lose a life there, ironically. So, I could be playing this game forever, to be perfectly honest, uh, it, it, although it is getting a little bit more tricky now. Uh, what I will say is, I do enjoy the game, it's, it's quite nice, I like the single screen platform type games, always have done, and it's a good arcade style high score challenge, uh, so well worth the $1.99 or possibly $2.99 as they may have cost at this point in time. Um, it reminds me particularly of two games. One is obviously uh, Bomb Jack, which is obvious with the uh, collecting the bombs and so on. Uh, but also it reminds me of Flicky, because you've got to collect these little things, bounce around and take them to a certain point. So uh, yeah, good arcade style game and uh, not bad at all really.